The difference is that a nishama, a nishama that comes down in this physical world, it, it, it reaches an infinite level, on a higher level and a, and a, and a greater proportion than a, an angel reaches. And therefore, a nishama coming down in this physical world, this is where its infinite levels is, is, is attained, that the nishama is able to reach the highest heights when it is a nishama beguf. And the Rebbe says that why is it that the Nishama has to be in a body and then reach the heights? So the Rebbe continues, the Rebbe explains it is like when a, a male and a female together, then there's a special blessing from above. The Nishama is considered the male, the body is considered the female. When there is a couple together, then there is a special blessing which hovers over them, uh, a greater blessing. And therefore, this is the idea of the, the, the uh, connection between Nishama and Guf. So now, the Rebbe continues and says, now it is up to the person. The person has to initiate on his own, and this is where he gets the ball rolling. He says, the muscle comes from David Amalek, from the tail. So, how he did it, the Bismur, and so David Amalek brought in this wall. He connected the tail. The Rebbe is talking about, I mean, the tail is not the same, but the Rebbe is talking about the tail. So if Abkaz is here also, and he gave the terror, so why do you need David Amelech to, to make the terror higher in this world? The terror was given to this world. The, e- the, the, essence, of, the, right, the essence of terror was given here. What he wanted was to connect it with the Ebishta. He want, David Amelech wanted to connect it with Hashem, as Hashem is higher than all the worlds. So he wanted to take the terror, he learns it in his human mind, and connect it that it should be on the highest level. So that if like somebody learns Tehra Lishma, he's elevated but, but, he, but he says that because that you learn in Tehra here, you're Mechubah Midar Rebishter. But Tehra is Mechubah Midar Rebishter without you learning or not learning. Yeah, but the because Yidin have a higher Shadish than Tehra, so they have the potential to connect Tehra with the Rebishter through the Aved of Yidin. It's so that if like you have the three connections, the three knots, which is actually two knots. You have one knot which is uh, uh, I mean, the three, uh, the three factors are the Eivishter, Yidin, and Teira. So there's a connection that Yidin are connected with the Eivishter through Teira. So the question is then, why are there three knots? There's three things, there should be two knots. So the answer is because Yidin and the Eivishter also connect on a deeper level than the union of Teira. Because the source of Yidin stands on a level that's higher yet than Teira. Because the Jewish nation is <laughs> before I was taken into consideration before everything else, as it's mentioned in the Medrash and Anthology in Tonet Velio, that the Jewish nation uh, stands from a Shadish, a root that's higher than everything else. So therefore, Yidin, Yidin adds a dimension in Torah.